Hello everyone, it's Jess, and welcome back to my channel. For today's timeless message, whenever you find it, it is meant for you, that I recorded on March 26, 2024, I'll be using the Law of Attraction cards by Esther and Jerry Hicks, The Teachings of Abraham. There's the front of that box cover now. Off camera, as I always do, I'm cutting and shuffling my decks, and now we're just releasing any negative energy that may be attached to the deck. Divine guidance, spirit guides, peace, love, and light, universe, what is my all signs, collective energy message, timeless. Oh, and there it goes. Wow, quite a few messages came out today. Goodness gracious, look at them all, all right? What a beautiful, should we read through them all? Since they all are very important, typically I only pick one card, but today I'm feeling called to go ahead and read through and talk about with you each and every card that just came out. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Wow. If six is a number that you see time and time again, a sign, a synchronicity, pay attention to that. As you are being offered up that reoccurring number in your life because there's additional messages, there's additional information that you need to receive. So use that human intelligence with that divine intelligence of your intuition and go out and do your homework, do your research on numerology, angel numbers, the number six, and certainly any of the numbers I'm going to be mentioning here today in the cards. So let's get into it. The first card, number 19. My dream thoughts are not my creative thoughts. Let's read the back of it. This deck does not have a booklet. The additional information is on the back of the card. So you focus on this card and I'll read the back. Whatever you are thinking and therefore feeling and that which you are attracting is always a match. Also, what you are thinking and feeling in the dream state and what is manifesting in your life experience is always a match. Your dreams give you a glimpse into what you are creating, but you are not in the process of creating while you are dreaming. Interesting. So realizing that, all right, if you are having any kind of dreams, all right, prophetic dreams, dreams where you see yourself in a certain situation, location with somebody, please know your dreams give you a glimpse into what you are creating, all right, so those dreams are giving you that big picture, that glimpse into what you are creating, but you are not in the process of creating while you are dreaming, okay? And understanding the difference in that, all right? Beautiful message in that card. And our next card message, number 36, okay? Attention to what is only creates more what is interesting look at that beautiful scene there all right many want to point out reality to you they say face the facts look at what is and we say to you if you are able to see only what is then by the law of attraction you will create only more of what is. You must put your thoughts beyond what is in order to attract something more or something that is different. Absolutely. All right. What a powerful message. Okay. If you continue to think and feel and attract from what is, what is already in your life and not thinking and feeling about new or bigger opportunities or new things to come in or different than what you're already experiencing, whatever your what is is, 
then you, by the law of attraction, are going to continue to attract onto yourself more of what you already are experiencing. So you're being challenged today, reminded today by the universe that you have to change what you're thinking about, what you're putting energy into, what you are feeling about what you are thinking in order to attract something different than what is, All right? Wow, beautiful message there. All right, look at this next card here. Number 10, okay? There is nothing I cannot be, do, or have. Wow, incredible mindset. Okay, let's read a little more into it here. Welcome to planet Earth. There is nothing that you cannot be, do, or have. Go forth on this day of your life experience knowing that your real work is to decide what you want. And then focus upon that. Go forth giving thought to what you want attracting life experiences to help you decide what you want. And once you have decided, giving thought only to that. Absolutely. You could have it all, but it starts with your mindset. And you have to learn that your vibration is your point of attraction. Okay, so if you're having high vibratory states of positivity and thinking about the things from that vibratory state, you are assured to attract more of that, all right? Whatever you put your energy into, whatever you are thinking about and feeling about all of the time, that is what you continue to bring forth to you, all right? That's the same with the low vibe state. If you're constantly in low vibration, you're going to attract more to feel and think about in low vibration, if that makes sense, all right? You're being encouraged to remember and to put into practice attracting from that high vibratory state, attracting and recognizing and realizing that there's always enough abundance in the universe and that you are worthy of anything that you want to do anything that you want to be, okay? But it starts with you and your vibratory state. Beautiful, wow, incredible messages here today. And this, look at this one, wow, number 23. I can deliberately reach for joyous thoughts. In seeking and finding joy, you not only find perfect alignment with your inner being and with who you really are, but you also find vibrational alignment with all things that you desire. When joy is really important to you, you will not allow yourself to focus upon things that do not feel good. And the result of thinking only thoughts that feel good will then cause you to create a wonderful life filled with all the things that you desire, all right? You get to choose. This is one area that you have control over is how you want to feel and how you want to think about things, all right? And what you are thinking about, all right? If you want to attract, again, it comes down to that high vibratory state of positivity and attracting from there, all right? Wow, what a beautiful place to be, all right? If you're having a low vibe state and it doesn't feel good, the next thought that you need to be thinking is a joyous thought to bring you right back up to high vibing, all right? And this this is where we live from, okay? Not here, all right? Sure, human experience does involve low vibratory states, but we don't live from here. We experience, we let this flow through us. We learn the lessons from this, and it brings us back here, all right? Beautiful message, wow. Okay, look at this card. Isn't that stunning? Number 60. 
I understand the rules of the game of life. Wow. Now that I understand the rules of this game of eternal life, now that I understand the powerful law of attraction and deliberate creation, I can prepare segment by segment my life experience into becoming the allower I was born to be. For I was destined to live a life of fulfillment and never-ending joy. Joy is your birthright, all right? Happiness, you are worthy of that. You are meant to feel that, okay? Very beautiful message. Learning the process of what it, what we're doing here, okay? We've come here to the planet in this human suit. Our energy is stuffed into this vehicle, okay? If you want to think of it like that encapsulated within this vehicle for a very specific mission. And part of the process of us being here and learning as we go is also learning the immense, everlasting, eternal power that we each have. The power is in our own hands, right? To create our realities. And we do this through energy, okay? Be the energy you want to attract. All right, that is the key to all of it, all right? Being the energy that you want to attract and want to manifest from there, okay? Wow, some of us never learn this, okay? Others are teaching manifestation principles or the law of attraction because you've been called to step into your power to do so, all right? It's not our job to judge the journeys of others. We may not understand why some people lead certain lives and others other lives. Your job is to take care of you in your vibratory state and work from there. Okay, beautiful message indeed. And our last card today, number four, I am a magnet attracting onto myself. Look at that card. Very fun. Without exception, what you give thought to, wanted or unwanted, you begin to invite into your experience. See yourself as a magnet attracting onto you the essence of whatever you are thinking and feeling. For example, if you feel poor, you cannot attract prosperity. It defies the law, all right? You have to feel worthy of everything that is meant for you. There is enough abundance in the universe for all of us. There is enough money that you can attract to yourself available to all of us right? But you have to believe that you are worthy. You have to believe that you are attracting what is best for you from that high vibratory state of positivity. Let go of the lack beliefs because whatever you think about, wanted or unwanted lack beliefs, right? Fear, those types of things, you're going to attract more to think and feel about. You're going to attract more to feel unworthy about. You're going to attract more to feel negative, low vibratory states about. If you're trying to attract money, yet deep down you feel poor and you're always going to be poor and you're never going to have money, it's against the law for you to actually attract it in because it's conflicting. Okay, if that makes sense. So the work here today in all of these beautiful, beautiful messages. What a strong and beautiful message today, all right? That our vibratory state is the most important thing that we can focus on, all right? Positivity, okay? And of course, negativity is part of the 3D here, 
all right? It's a, gonna happen. The ebb and flow of life, the ups and downs of life, but how you approach it is your key to success and abundance. Don't live from here, live from here, okay? Wow, what a beautiful reading today. I thank you so much for coming back to me the way that you do. I appreciate you. Put your best foot forward and be the best human you can be. Remember, if you feel so called to take inspired action, today is your day and now is your time. We're not promised tomorrow. We're only promised today. So use this magic moment of the present to take action. Take those lessons learned from the past and apply it to your life moving forward, all right? Recognizing that every single day is an absolute gift. And if you wake up alive, you say, thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Thank you, source energy. Thank you, spirit. Whatever label you want to use, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. I'm not here to convince you. I'm only the messenger bringing it forward. You get to decide what resonates in your life and what you want your life to look like. The way to do that is to make sure that you're vibing at a high vibratory state of positivity and attracting from that place. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Put your best foot forward. Be the best human you can be. And come back again and join me for yet another Collective Energy message. Bye-bye.